Hi, Sheriff. Hi, Narissa. Have a seat. I, um, are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be, you know, around if I came by. and puffs. Not many people smoke those. Thanks. You can start talking. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for, and you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? You can try. I just... Go ahead. It might work. Is there more to this business with Crane? You gave me the key to room 204. You put me on to Crane. Is there something I'm missing here? These lips are sealed. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes... We have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone, and I don't know what to do. Is this making any sense? I'm not sure how I can... Are you trying to say something about Faith and Lily? What I'm saying is friends matter. And I... I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. Are you? Look around you. Are you telling me my friends are involved? I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know I want to help, but... But... But your lips are sealed. I'm... sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one, too, huh? Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? It's not how it looks that concerns me. It's what it does. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Gonna do anything. 
Please, don't. <sighs> okay. I get it. So the ribbons... If you take them off... I don't know how, but I'm going to fix this. If you could just point me in the right direction, I swear I will fix this. If anyone finds out I came here... That's probably Snow. Listen, Sheriff. Can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of... trouble. I shouldn't be talking to you. Please. Just... please don't say anything. Sorry, I just need to talk to the Sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. I, wait, you don't have to go. That was... abrupt. It's one way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She couldn't really say anything. The magic that Crane was talking about, it's in the ribbon. And you can't take the ribbon off, or... It's how Faith and Lily died. Okay then. Good work. So, about Beauty and Beast, do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night, and they're scared about what's been going on? Well, I guess it's the best we've got. Hmm. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. She was looking for... Financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do, and... And she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Bigby, you don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? That would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? I have other matters to attend to. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed that was settled. You said it was settled. That doesn't mean I have to agree to it. And when were you going to tell me? Or were you just going to keep that a secret too? You know what it was. You know what was going on here. I had to get a job, and you wouldn't have it. How to make it in Oh, it's you. What are you doing here? What's this about? Well? Nothing you want to say? Listen, I've had a shitty night. Well, you're not the only one. And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. If someone called, it must have been Beast. I certainly didn't. Okay, I... You know, if you had just kept your mouth shut about me, Beast wouldn't have lost his head over at the open arms. He never would have even found the place. And I wouldn't have had to spend the night defending myself for keeping secrets with Bigby Wolf. I lost my job because of you. I needed that. Who's there? Beauty? 
Who is it? Who's at the door? Look, I'm coming in. So, uh, let's not get into busting down doors today, all right? Bigby's here. Hi, Bigby. Can you give us a minute? A word in private? I think that's a good idea. Hmm. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Now, Beauty, let's not make a problem out of this. What's he doing here? Do we really need to bring Bigby into this? We talked about it already. But I... Hmm. I just don't think Talk this about living in the past. Situation. Well, that's what we're going to find out. I know you're going to disagree, but if he can't keep a little secret, how can we trust him with this? I trust him. Well, of course you do. Whatever. It's not just that. Trouble follows him around. We're out of money and we're up against the wall here, okay? So can we finish this later? Now that Bigby's here, let's just... Fine. Go on. Sorry, we've had a long night. Yeah, what's that you always say? Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What's that supposed to mean? Beauty! What? It's a fair question. He's the sheriff, not an interior decorator. So, what are you trying to say? I thought you were having money problems, but it doesn't look like you're suffering to me. Snow told me you went to her for some financial help. Did you end up going to the Crooked Man? That's part of it, but... We can't bring him into this. He's just going to make things worse. He always does. Well, he's here now, so let's see what he can do. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. That's all I ever do. Look, I'm not here to referee. You called me, okay? So cut the bullshit and quit wasting my time. Just answer me this first. What if we did have some information on the Crooked Man? If we talk, we're putting ourselves at risk. Could you protect us? I've seen what happens when you cross him. Can you- Can you promise you'll keep us safe if we talk? You are in danger. You two need to cooperate so I can get the Crooked Man off the street. You don't want to be next. But if you'd rather deal with this on your own... Bigby, don't leave. Then tell me what the fuck is going on. You're in so much debt? Look around you. This isn't the way people short on cash live. You get used to a certain way of doing things, and sometimes it just gets away from you. I just wanted to give Beauty the kind of life she deserves. You understand that, don't you? And there's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... I should... A day at the beach? Skiing the slopes? Are you gonna get that? <laughs> and we can't come to the phone right now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as... What the fuck was that? It was nothing. Probably just a telemarketer, you know? I hate those things. We get them all the time. Fine. I'm sure you can handle whatever this is on your own. I'll see you later. No, Bigby. Wait. We've been getting threatening phone calls. Collectors for the Crooked Man. We owe a lot of money. We aren't safe, Bigby. Finally. All I care about is, how can I find the Crooked Man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. You could have told me. 
You had enough on your plate. Besides, it didn't seem like such a bad deal when Jersey Devil was explaining it. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times, too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Sometimes, fables just don't have anywhere else to go. What the hell are you doing hanging out at a place like the Lucky Pawn anyway? Sometimes fables sell things they brought from the homelands. Things you can't find anywhere else. You do know there's a difference between pawning something and selling it, don't you? I... I know that. You're buying a piece of someone else's misery. With money, you don't have... Well, that's over now. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the Crooked Man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I needed work. You have to believe us. We didn't think it would get like this. Listen to me very carefully. Did you ever deliver to the Crooked Man? Can you give me an address? No. I delivered to places all over town, but never to the man himself. He never seems to be heading to the same place, but it always comes out of the butcher shop. How did you get involved with this? Johan the butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. It's the only thing I've been able to pick up, and it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work, especially not where she was. It's up to me to take care of her. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She gets under my skin, you know, I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Big B. Fuck off. There are a lot of fables who have it a lot worse off than you. Or me, for that matter. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. I'm going to the Lucky Pawn. There's too much going on there to ignore. I'll have a word or two with Jersey. You know, Bigby, once you show your face there, word is going to get out. There may be nothing left to see if you go to the butcher shop after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? I don't go around fixing debts. Lucky for you, what I am gonna do might just fix it anyway. Just keep us in mind, please. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. 